right guys, the day has come. I am at Hannaford shopping for Arcadius, my green iguana. I've already got some goodies for myself, but now we're gonna focus on iguana food. And I won't lie to you, I am walking up and down empty aisles. So I can report without feeling weird about it. Update, I just got absolutely run over by a guy running with his cart. That was fun. So anyway, you know the drill. I'll show you what they've got, I'll show you the prices, and we'll go home and take a look at what I bought. I come shopping alone. Not gonna lie, I almost ran to Dumbo from Redbox just now, but I have so much I need to get done tonight. I don't need the distraction, and I don't know if I'm quite emotionally prepared for that movie yet. So maybe another day. So now, obviously, I'm back home, so we can look at what I bought. I did only buy three things. I bought two greens and um, some fruit because I already have veggies still at home, but I needed greens and fruit. So that's what I went and bought. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. But real quick first, I know I talk about Arm the Animals literally in like every video, but I just got home and I had my package from the 4th of July sale here. And I just wanna show you guys, this tank top is one of their new ones. Is that not like the sickest design ever? I am literally obsessed. Okay, so nothing is really packaged anymore because I started unpacking, putting things away without thinking. Um, but I have here, oh, I just dropped one. I have here some dandelion greens and I snatched these up because I feel like it's not every day you see dandelion greens at a store. Like Wegmans had them. I don't remember if Tops had them. I don't think so. Walmart doesn't have them. So if I see dandelion greens at a store, I usually end up buying them because they are really good. They're a good source of calcium. It's like 2.8 to 1 is the calcium to phosphorus ratio. They're just, they're very good. And the whole thing is edible. Like Arcadius absolutely love dandelion like flowers. Oh my God, he loves them. And the greens are delicious too. They can eat the whole entire thing. These you can actually take right out of your yard. Just be careful getting wild dandelion greens or flowers, any part, um, because you want to make sure that the area you're getting them from does not use pesticides. So for example, when I worked at the nature center, I could go outside and pick dandelion greens for the turtles because we were a nature center. We were not spraying pesticides. Um, same goes for my house at home. I would give them dandelion greens for my yard because I knew my parents were not spraying pesticides in the yard. So just be careful, you know, if you're traveling and you see some dandelion greens somewhere, it would probably be safer to not bring them home to your iguana or your bearded dragon or your turtle or whatever you're feeding. Just to be safe rather than sorry. But if you know that an area does not use pesticides, then go for it. However, I never see dandelion greens this big in my yard. So it's just more efficient for me to buy them from a store. So yes, these are absolutely fantastic for your iguanas or your other reptiles. All right, so the second thing I got was collard greens. You guys know I always feed collard greens and usually one other green, sometimes two, um, just depending on what I can find, what the prices are and how they look. Um, but today I only bought collard greens and dandelion greens. But collard greens, you guys know, I've said 
a million times. I love collard greens. They're a great source of calcium. It's like 14 and a half to one for the calcium to phosphorus ratio. They are slightly high in goitrogens, um, but they're a good source of calcium and I mix them with other staple greens. They are still listed as a staple green. Um, so it's just really good to mix a lot of staple greens together. So that's typically what I do. I usually do collard greens and then a couple other greens. So for this upcoming week, it's gonna be collard greens and dandelion greens. And then for fruit, I got some blueberries. Blueberries are a special treat. They are not a staple fruit. There are very few fruits that are actually classified as a staple fruit. Um, so they're kind of, they're a special treat, but I was feeling like some blueberries. You guys know half of what I buy for Arcadius is actually also for me, um, like the fruits. So he'll get some of these, I'll get most of them. But I also have a couple other fruits, I think still here, but fruits are a treat anyway. All right, and the grand total. And I normally tell you the prices of things and I forgot. So we're just gonna go through right now. The, oh, those are my snacks. Oh, and my dessert and my breakfast. I went hard in the bakery section today, treated myself. Anyway, dandelion greens and collard greens were each $2.69. So a little more pricey than Walmart. Um, but may I do, you know, dandelion greens, I can't really get them anywhere else. So $2.69 for those and $1.77 for blueberries. So blueberries were a really good price at Hannah for today, you know, on sale. Gotta love it. So all together that came to three, four, five, six, seven, about seven dollars. So at Hannah for today I spent about seven dollars on two greens and some blueberries. So not too bad, not quite as budget efficient as shopping some other places. I mean, Hannaford's is a little more pricey, but I do love Hannaford's and they've got good quality things. So that was that ladies and gents. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching and for coming with me through my very awkward filming in public experience in Hannaford's. And yeah, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you wanna stick around and see more videos. And we'll see you for the next one.